Watch out! Ah! Just wasn't making any sales. Ah! Instead of drowning in cash, I was drowning in frustration, stress, and exhaustion. I would have been a millionaire by now if I only stopped making these mistakes sooner. And you're probably making them as well because this is the most common money-making advice you hear online and it's absolute crap. Here's what I've done differently this year that grew my business like nothing else. These new mindsets took me from struggling mindset coach to experiencing abundance for the first time in my life. I'd spend three to four hours a day watching all the online business gurus, desperately looking for the promised money-making secrets that would change my life forever. I wonder what I'm gonna be learning today. Play. You can't get rich looking poor. People want to deal with success, and success breeds success. I am now ready for success. But instead of drowning in cash, I was drowning in frustration, stress, and exhaustion. I would try this one strategy and didn't see results, then I would try this other strategy and still didn't see any sales. At the time, I didn't know I was suffering from shiny object syndrome, meaning that instead of focusing on my entrepreneurial mindset, I believed that the solution to all my problems was in this one golden strategy that I just hadn't found yet. And all I needed to do was look hard enough to find it. A bit like this miner scrambling to find the gold mine. It's the miner 49er! Instead of being the guy selling the shovels. But what I didn't understand was that principles are more powerful than strategies. Meaning that the principle of giving value to a specific group of people, a niche, and offering to then help with solving a specific problem will always work. And all business strategies are simply derivatives, the derivatives of this principle. So this year, I slowed down to speed up. I stopped searching for strategies and changed the way I approached business. I started thinking like a business owner rather than just some kid who desperately wanted to prove to his parents that going into business wasn't a big mistake. I started being focused and chose one business strategy to do over and over and over again every single day to allow results to compound and explode. In other words, stop watching YouTube videos, pick one business growth strategy and do it consistently for three to six months before you choose another one. Another one. Something else I would do back when I was in desperate pursuit of pesos was follow this guy's advice. Here in my garage, knowledge. Because I thought, yeah, I could use a Lamborghini in my garage, but instead of the Lamborghini, I would just get Linguini. Because I just wasn't making any sales. I mean, books are great, but without a solid business foundation, I just wouldn't see any progress. What up? Back to our normal program. It's just like my martial arts teacher once said, somebody who has a solid Wing Chun foundation can improve by watching videos online, but someone who doesn't have a foundation watching videos online will actually make their Wing Chun worse. That was me in business. But by far the biggest trap that we fall into and the one that I fell into was that I invested in the business coaching. I learned the strategies and I thought that I had the foundation. And here's why I didn't have it because the foundation consists of one, knowing how to sell and who to sell to, knowing who you want to be in 10 years, and three, thinking, feeling, and acting like a business owner and believing in yourself as a business owner. And I was massively lacking in number three. And after five years of banging my head against the wall, I finally gave up and said, I cannot figure this thing out by myself. I need help. So I hired a mindset coach to help me with my entrepreneurial mind and my confidence. And the past months have been the most profitable I've ever had. In other words, stop reading books, Stop searching for the next shiny object and get personalized help from a mindset coach so you master your confidence and master the business owner mindset. Something else that I would massively stress over was this. I need more leads, I need more leads. If only I could get more leads, I would make so many more sales and my life would be completely different. Meaning that I could finally tell my dad over at Christmas dinner that I had made money that year. But the truth was that that wasn't my problem at all. And in fact, 90% of entrepreneurs have no idea why they're not getting more leads. But here's how I got out of the struggling 90% and into the thriving 10%. I talk about it in detail in this video and I highly recommend you watch it too if you want to be amongst the thriving 10% of entrepreneurs 
and turn business from a struggle into a strength.